Hello, my name is Jake from Firestorm Games. And my name is Paul, and we've got an exciting one for you today. Yeah, we are super excited. This is Blood Bowl Second Season Edition. So, here we go. Here's a nice box here. Yeah, let's have a, have a quick goosey at what we've got. So, Second Season here. So inside we've got two teams, we've got different teams this time. Yeah, they're brand new teams. We have Human Nobles and we've got some uh, Black Orcs and Goblins uh, as a team. And we've, we've got loads more content than we used to have uh, in the old core set here. So we have Star Players and we have Biggins. We have an Ogre uh, and a Troll in this set as well. Nice. Awesome. Well, let's have a look inside. So the, the big word I'm using for this is premium. Um, this, yeah. The last set was cool. Last set got you playing. No problems at all. Love it. But everything in this one feels premium. Um, and we're going to show you a lot of why. So the, the dice, the miniatures, etc. cetera, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. So yeah, so, just get, get stuck in, grab something. Well, as per usual, we've got all the trackers. and Yeah, so that's it. So if you uh, scatter the ball or you throw in or uh, working at range, then yep, that's the same as it was last time. They are still really good, really, really functional. And here's our spruce. So here's the... They're the humans, yep. So um, new ones, the nobles. Nobles, yeah, that's it. So uh, they come in pre-coloured plastic, so you can just clip off, glue together, um, and start playing because you don't need, don't need to paint them if you want to. You can, but otherwise, red plastic for the humans. There's the ogre, uh, and green plastic for the orcs. Well, and blue well. for anybody who's noticed. There is a referee, so we have an exclusive miniature uh, or pair of miniatures for the referee. So yeah, have a look at that one. Oh, so yeah, again, premium. We didn't have that in the last edition. Uh, core box, so that, that's extra in this one. It's really cool, brand new, unique sculpt. And these ones here. That's it. So it's the same as normal Blood Bowl teams. So you will get some repeats of the miniatures, but you have options to to make them unique, and of course you can paint them differently. So here we go. This is the goblins and orcs. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Nice. That's it. And you also get a troll. Uh, yeah. So it's one uh, of the big boys. Big ones, yeah? that's it. Yeah, so um, normally available separately. Uh, and this this is one of the points I think is really important with this core set. Um, the last edition of Blood Bowl, you bought it, you could play with it, you had everything you needed, uh, but you had no further steps. So you played with your team, but if one of you started to be a bit of a runaway winner, the team got a lot better. There was there was no option to go out and buy some star players or, um, or, or if you wanted to change your team around a bit and have something a bit different, go out and buy a big player. Um, in this, it's got your first few steps. So you can start playing Blood Bowl, you can adjust your team a little bit because you have access to the big ones. And if you do play against somebody who's got a much higher team rating, you've got a couple of really cool star players in this box ready to go. They, they go into your team to offset um, a, a points value experience difference between two games, uh, between two teams. And we've got here this card, the new, the new kind of classic style artwork, which has always been... Uh a favourite of mine. It's nice to see they've retained the old classic Warhammer humour here. So. And if you turn it over, it is also a giant advert. But it's really good because it does show you all the teams. So this bit of cardboard um, material is, is there to prevent the sprues from damaging any of the cardboard components below. But they've, they've given you a cool poster uh, and it shows you everything that you can go on to, to do. Skaven team, one of my favourites. Yeah, It's awesome. really funny. And the Lizardmen Crater Gators. There. From last time, of course. Yeah, yeah. Humans and Orcs are still there. So the Gouge Die and the Reichland Reavers, they still exist. You can still play with them. But there you go. Imperial Nobility Team and the Black Orc Team, top right. Love it. Wow. So here we go. A bit to the Dugouts. Board. That's it. So they're a bit smaller than last time, but it's a lot easier now to get them onto a table whilst you're playing because the board is still huge. Two different themes in art style on the different side. So I think it's Grass and Astro Granite. We've got our... Oh, we've got our... Bases here? Bases are the same. Uh, so they have a little um, hole in them so you can pop the ball into the base to show who's carrying the ball. So that's, that's, uh, that's been a fan favourite. And here we go, premium. So the dice. Uh, these are beautiful. These are uh, translucent dice. And you get two sets. So there's there's the orc one and there's the human one, colour-coded for the different teams. But they're just gorgeous. They're exactly the same, the translucent style that you can buy uh, for other teams if you're lucky enough to get them on the week of release. Well, it's amazing to get those actually in the box as uh, well. That's it, yeah. Last time they were just standard opaque ones. They were nice, they were functional, but now we've got functional and pretty. Nice. And the rule book. Big boy rule book, that's it, yeah. So hardback, uh, GW seem to have moved towards this, give people the full rules in the core box and available to purchase separately. So yeah, all this goes on, on pre-order on Saturday at 10 a.m. So you can buy the book just on your own, on its own if you want to. And it's got the spike issues up until this edition. So oh, that's you, great. Yeah, if you want to go play with your lizard men or any of those teams on the advertising, their rules are in this book. Oh, that's great. 
No spoilers though this time, no unfortunately. Spoilers. Yeah, so, we're, we're uh, not opening this on camera and showing you all. Um, I think we'll get into trouble. <laughs> the pitch, yes. The pitch. Yes, well, so as you can see at the bottom, there's instructions for how to build everything, and there's some transfers as well. Whilst Paul's just playing with the, the pitch, we do have a copy of the cheat sheet, which is a uh, two sided A4. It's like a, a menu and a, a wonderful bistro. Yeah, there you go. Um, but it's full color, it's, uh, it's icons are perfect. It, this is exactly what you need whilst you're playing. So the, the rule book is great, but the cheat sheet is, is really good this time. I think they've outdone Hefty themselves. Board. That's it. It's a, so it's a big one. Um, it's a big one. And the uh, the attention to detail on the art style is brilliant. Little blood splatters, bits of uh, left behind kit, trapdoor. Um, as you're playing, it, it's great. Um, the greatest thing about these always is that they you don't get a, a board, you get two. That's it. Yes, it's double sided. Um, the green one is is beautiful, and it and it screams blood ball for me. This one is more of a dungeon ball for me. But this is really good if you're just learning to play, or if you're trying to play with maybe younger players, because it's grid. So the the um, the grass has little crosses in the corners. That's really clear. They, yeah, so you can see the difference right there. Like this is cool. This is this is fine. But when you're just starting, sometimes the squares are, are spot on. Uh, I am waiting to see one of these turn up on a D and D stream. Oh it, yeah, it's a dungeon board and it's it's gridded. Uh, I can't wait to get a beholder on this. But anyway, so. Can't say beholder, probably wizards won't be happy. No, well, uh, eyeball, eyeball, float eye, tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. And so this is going up for pre order this weekend. That's correct, yeah. So Saturday morning, 10 a.m., firestormgames.co.uk. The undead team, the brand new, they're going up as well. The dice for them, uh, the, this box. Um, it's super limited edition. And I know I say that a lot, but that's because I really don't like people missing out. So um, if you want a copy, just, just get your pre order in. There we go. So let's have one more. One more look at the, the beautiful front box. Yeah, yeah. So, the Griff with his pipe. I believe it's been pretty much exactly four years, I think, since the yeah, first I think so. one. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it was 2016, wasn't it? Yeah, Black, Fri no. Black Friday on um, 2016. Wow, that makes you feel old. <laughs> what are four years we've had? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four, four more years of... Um, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. So, uh, but that's brilliant. So that'd be up for pre-order first thing on Saturday morning. It, Do on. not miss out. Uh, this is definitely the... Wargamer's Christmas present of a... Uh... Yes, very true, yeah. We've had a few people asking, do we think we'll have it available still at Christmas? No. <laughs> no. No. I'm sorry, probably not, no. Uh, uh, but that's it. Well, we can't wait to get stuck in with this. So uh, Let's go play. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so, Saturday morning, um, well, we'll see you there. Yeah. Thanks very much.